What the heck is that? Get the sniper shot. What the freak, dude? Oh. Keep it going, keep it going. Just leave this to this big old oak tree. Let's go, let's go. Good wild beef. Woo! Look at that. Bullet running straight in. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of The Blair Witch. Now, this game in the last episode kind of took me by surprise. I really was digging the way that this game was unveiling the story, and I also do like the way we have this dog mechanic. It's so unique and different, and it adds a lot to the story in my opinion. However, devs, you take away bullet, okay? I take away your game from a hard drive. If you guys didn't actually check out the last episode, and this is your first one in The Blair Witch series, I would highly recommend going back to the first part. In that first part, we really learn how the story unfolds, and we're also starting to learn a little bit more about the forest within Burr. Burkittsville, at least within this game's universe. Calling this place jacked up does it very little justice, and if you want to understand why, allow me to click continue. Let's go ahead and do this. By the way, guys, likes in the last episode. You see this thing? You want part three sooner? You know what to do. Yeah, bullet, what you smell, boy? The freak you're looking at, huh? Tell me what the freak is that, huh? Dog turd? You know, uh, monster turd, something like that? He's leading us somewhere. The freak is he- uh? Um... So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I, I Welcome back, though, anyway, guys, to another part of Blair Witch. Seems like a lot of you guys really enjoyed the way this story was investigating. What? Now, first of all, before we continue, Bullet, come closer. Why Complimentary pets right now. Come back here, my dude. Hey, here we go. Gotta give Bullet the love right now, you know? What a sweet little boy. Okay, love all done. Now we gotta try and find, I guess, the issue at hand. So, two potential routes. It just throws us back into the zone that we saw before. Okay, I heard a tree. That way, we're not going that way. Bullet seems to know a lot about where we gotta go. Boy. So, is he barking at? He's barking at something. Find something right there? Hey, Boomer, what you see? Oh, so got nothing. I don't think so. Hmm. So there's multiple routes we can go. Looking like there's some kind of car down that way there. Let's go back this way one more time because we found what appears to be a locked sort of like basement slash bunker that way. It's very interesting and it's like, what the freak is oh, even happening here, down there, bro? Like, can I just get in? We have this like passcode. I guess we're not gonna find out. Find this. Not at all, not by guessing unless we get extremely lucky. So unfortunately, in this case, not today, guys. Let's let Bullet do a little bit of seeking and see if we can find, find something. Buddy. Where's he taking us? Dude, you just <sighs> hear the trees in the distance just breaking up like that? Dang, I hate that sound. Let's see, because I don't think the cow was actually in that location last time. Maybe that will offer some more hints. Oh, I see this trailer here again. The trees cascading over the top, blocking all light out here. Oh, wait, hold up. Looks like a police car right now. That's uh, wait, kind of a strange thing to see right isn't here. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it is. Lanning's car. Uh, checking the boot. But how? It, it was a complete wreck just a moment ago. Apparently not. What the freak does that say? Hold up. Something say the light. Oh, what is this? Uh, wait, we get this guy out right now? Hold up. Change over to here. Try and Emma, call it. I know you're there. Please answer me. It's important right now. Uh, it again just gives us the prompt. If we just try it, dude. I know you're there. I just found your car. Come on, my guy. Come on, Emmett. Talk to me. Maybe he really can't hear us this time. <sighs> That's not good. Really is not good. Can we maybe enter the car at any point? Can't. There's like a letter on there too. Look, this would be cool to read, but maybe at some point we can come back here. All right, so we came from that way with the tree. My guess is that we continue into the dark depths this way. Hold up. Bullet, go ahead and do your seeking, my dude. He's barking and looking in this direction. Uh, are you good, my dude? See, now the one thing I will say about this forest is that it is very, very confusing. Like, you feel like you're not going the right way. I kind of feel like the game instills that. And, okay, we're back here again. Ah, this way, here, so... Just ignore the background noise. It's mere ambience, nothing more. The light. Channel three. Oh, we need another channel right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the radio back out. Let's see now if we can find something. Uh, the light? Uh, turn on the lights. Turn on the what? lights? The headlights, turn them on. Who the what? Who is this? Right? Sounds Hello? so stern, so confident, right? No problems, <sighs> like, directing us. No, what the hell not? Okay, let's do this, dude. I would have done this before anyway, like, what the freak? <sighs> Locked, of course. Of course. You okay, my dude? He's like whining. Hold up. Well, it's found something. Hey, put in a second. Where'd you find him? What the heck are the chances no, of that? Finding it straight away? Matters. No, good job, buddy. Such a small key too, right? All right, well, we have that. Simply use it in the car door, right? Simple as that. Now we can actually enter. Well, so, wait. Let's do this. I really hope this is a wise choice. Get those headlights on, dude. The freak do you see in front? All right, buddy. You read this note before we go doing anything else. The fuse panel is located underneath the steering wheel to identify a potential problem. Please check the following cavities 1 through 10. All these different stuff. Look, let's not read those off just yet. I got a feeling we are going to need you soon. So have this guy right Another here. Another missing person? 
What? Okay, Tappy East Creek Timber Company. 18th of August 2000, 1755 Officer Wilson was notified of the disappearance of Todd McKinnon by Adam Brown. According to his testimony, according to his testimony, McKinnon was supplying him with timber when he suddenly stopped about two weeks ago. Brown was unable to establish any form of contact with McKinnon. 6.30, the initial search yielded no results. McKinnon could not have been found in his home. McKinnon has no known history of mental health problems. Currently examined hypothesis deliberate disappearance. 2015, McKinnon's neighbors claim that he was frequently visiting the defunct sawmill of Tappy East Creek Timber Company in the Black Hills Forest. Sarah Wilson? Uh, okay. I don't know what that means right now, but thanks for that anyway. So, we're gonna put the key in the car. I don't think this is gonna work though, right? Well, it is yawning like 28,000 times every minute, my dude. I mean, I get it. Exhausting times right now. Uh, no battery. Great. I should take a look under the hood. Alright, so I think I just pulled that anyway. Let's go ahead and open this. Uh, no Another battery. yawn bullet? Is it really that boring, huh? Really? Let's pop this hood open, my dude. What do we see right now? Something over here. Is the spark plug gone? Looks like there's only one. Don't you need two right now? So you clip it back on there. Good stuff. That should do it nice. Three. Closer, closer. Well, what the fuck? Stay close, stay close. Uh. Wait here, buddy. I feel like we're good. Calm it down. We've got like a uh, piece frequency thing. I should have put the hood down right. If that drops when I put the lights on, I quit. First off, try that. Okay, try this then. Okay, so we've got like a panel here. fuses. That explains it. We have all this different stuff here telling us what things add up to, so we have to get the front lights working. So we need a total of, is that 20 amps or something? I'm a little bit confused. One is 15, two is 10. We need a 15 right there. So we have to find some missing fuses perhaps for this to work. Put that away for now. Now, the freak is this. Greetings, my beloved listeners. I'm so glad you actually joined found me someone. on this very special night. Do you know what time it is? That's right! Uh, it's time for our annual trivia challenge! Okay. Today's question is... Don't be so weird. Done. Yes. Oh, God. Bullet! Oh, looks like we have a winner! It's someone who knows the answer all too well! What did he do, Congratulations. right? Let's put the hood down. Your prize is on its way! Uh, Good night! Dude. Who won that quiz, right? Did we win it? Bullet? Is that I ain't listening to any of this bull crap. I'm not feeling calm. Not feeling cool. Get off that. There's 20 of this bull. Can I not turn this off, dude? Dude, what is with these frequencies? Press it again. I see. Another That's one. An interesting idea. But okay, John, but what's this is playing? Hold up. Long and dare I say, fruitful career as a film critic. Oh, the why price. has this particular movie the become lock. such an obsession for you? Dude. Well, how could it not? Let's listen a Even second. the shortest description sounds eerie. An obscure black and white documentary shot in various mental What are they asylums. talking about? Yeah, and as we all know, mental care in the 60s wasn't exactly top notch. Still isn't now. No, it certainly wasn't. One might even go so far as to call it atrocious. And that is precisely what this movie shows. Okay. The macabre treatment of patients in these institutions. Well, it, you're now looking it like a horror character, saying, my dude. Can you stop? Seriously, don't sit there, my dude. The force feeding scene is particularly hard to sit through. Okay, we it's all gonna sit through. I'm standing up. Through the patient's ah, dude, do I have to hear this? Throat, a nutrient liquid is then pumped straight no matter where I walk, stomach. I still hear this. Oh my. That's, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Hey, buddy, what's wrong? Wait, 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 where'd he go, where'd he go? Where'd he go? You okay? What's good? Uh, sounds like there's a totem up ahead. But where is it? Why don't I see it? What the heck? Well, we'll get rid of it as soon as we find it. What the heck? I can't, is it on here? Right here? Okay, destroy it, destroy it. Get rid of that. There you go. It's all gone. See? Okay, Matthias. Again, staring in the corner. Could be taking a leak. Might be an innocent picture. Listen, I'm going with the other one, all right? Now, then, let's do buddy. this. Okay, we know the code for this. I think it was, from my memory, this one here, this one here, this one here, and then this one right there? Nope. Perhaps? Oh my god, I completely messed this thing up. So it's like this. I set the lock open, so push the door. <laughs> Bullet. Stay right there, buddy. Be back in just a sec, I hope. What is this? Um, I have no idea. We've got like radio stuff, some burn up tarnished paper. That is written in some weird handwriting, dude. They've been here so long that they can't even remember what they once were. Barely conscious, barely alive. Someone could just walk between them and they would never notice. They don't hear anything. They are nearly blind. Movement can draw their attention if you get too close, but only light will alligate them. Light causes them pain. Leave them alone and they won't pay you any mind, but make them suffer and they won't stop until they hunt you down. I don't mind, I make them share my suffering. Is that giving us like an optional choice right there? So we could fight off the monsters, but if we don't use the light source, maybe we're okay? Not really sure. What we've we seen in there is it maybe some fuses? Uh, I don't really understand. It's giving us like a visual on this, but I can't interact with that. 
maybe there's something we can find around this room. Meter switch is missing. So there's something then that we've got to go ahead and find. Hang on, let me go back out. Usually we get a weird scenario after stuff like that. Bullet just casually staring that way. So sounds in the forest. Can that stop? What is he looking at over there? Look at him. He's just like fixated. Bullet. Don't do chops like that. Come on, let's go, boy. Ah. Uh, so what the freak do we do now? Hang on a second. I'm gonna go back and mess with this car a little bit more. It said get the lights on as soon as we can. So listen, my dude, we get that crap done. That is gonna protect us. This could be like a safety beacon. Stay so here, let's try and figure this out. Don't go too far, bullet. Also, bro, yeah, it's a door handle. It's very nice, isn't it? Oh, my game froze. <laughs> bullet, what? Oh, again? The game froze again at the same point, dude. Is it glitched out? Can I not progress? Oh my god, is this- I think my game is corrupt, dude. It just keeps crashing at this point here. I can't even access the car. Hmm. That looks good. Oh, that's it! Okay, well that was simple. So, do I just start the car up or something? How do I do this? Get the lights on. Wait, what? Bro, out the car. How? Um... What the freak? I guess I don't exactly need my flashlight. I mean, I can't even put the thing away right now. Oh, buddy. No, I'm really losing it this time, aren't I? The forest is back in the day. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. What does he see? Do we go this way maybe somewhere? Uh, hello? I mean, it's good that it's daytime, right? Because I don't think the monsters are out at this point. They don't like attacking in the day because the light hurts them quite clearly. Even still, we keep the flashlight by our side at all points because, listen, no monster's going to be snapping us up, okay? Who knows how these things be evolving? So, it's a straight route down. One way we can go. Now, make sure Bullet can get down safely too. My dude clearly just jumping for it. Look at that! Straight in front already? Uh, Bullet, where'd you go? Right, let's keep up the pace. Radio signal. So, we've got signal again. Hold up. My phone going off like crazy. Okay, for some reason, I can't check my phone no matter what I do. It won't allow me to actually access it. So, what about if I press tab or something? No, it doesn't even bring up the menu. Yeah, dude, we'll have to check that out in due time. Maybe we're not supposed to be able to uh, drop the inventory just yet or anything like that. Around here. What are we being led to though? It sounds like maybe water? Tree right there. Maybe a creek? Looks like it. And we gotta cross that point. Who didn't see that coming, huh? Going to a new area of the forest. Now, was this in the movie? I can't really remember. Like, I'm trying to think how much of this relates from maybe the uh, 94, oh, stay, 96 stay, edition. Stay. I can't remember. Or also the 2016 one. Is he just gonna run in? Let me see. Ah! Jumping in the water to get across. God, it's freezing. Well, be careful. Yeah, we're gonna be sloshing around in this for a while. Also, still in the forest. So, what looming threats are gonna be posing over this side here, huh? Hopefully, not daytime monsters. I can't even call Bullet. It's really weird, man. Like, I guess we just keep walking right now? I don't really know what else I can actually do. Again, it looks like, yeah, one way being led through. Sound coming through. Tinnitus ringing straight through our ears. It's moving in the forest too by the sounds of it. Here comes Bullet, thankfully. I don't need to call him on this occasion. Wait. Smoker, huh? Okay. Well, if I don't get you, they sure will. <laughs> That's one way to see, I suppose, you know? Uh, let's try and keep looking for evidence, though. Still can't ask Bullet to do anything. And can't check my fu- What is that, so Hold up. What'd you find? What's he bringing us to? Uh, it's like a party. Right. Good boy, good boy. What is that? I'll move aside. Well, what is that? Is that a body or something? That's like blood, right? There's an officer badge! <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Um, I don't like it either. Just let me take a look and we'll be on. Jesus Christ! Dude, that's an officer right there. Let's get a look. Let's try and identify the man. Oh, boy. Yeah, dude, that ain't looking fresh, I'm just saying. Emmett! Emmett's gone? Well, we were just... I don't um, understand. Emmett. Oh, God. Dude, look at his face. That is messed up. And his eyes. Look at that. Landing. Completely dilated. Oh, God. You... Oh, you know, you deserve better than this. Mm-hmm. We may have had our problems, but still, this is not the way you should have went. Like, look at the gash in his neck, my dude. Like, what the heck? Manning's badge. Oh, no one deserved it more than him. Respected cop, right? Maybe neck we'll look at the neck. Deep. And his head is... Oh, God, it's barely hanging on. Sure, now, let's get to examining the last piece of it, right? The, the killer... Oh, skin his face. Dang! Clean cuts, probably post-mortem. Completely different MO than the decapitation wound. So two separate entities maybe attacked him? Is that what it's getting at? I'm not sure. The landing was tough. Experienced. As far as just got a lot more gloomy, by the way. Him. It had to be someone he knew. I need someone. wonder who those people are. Same here. Okay, we got Bullet back and hold up. Can I call him now? What's he got, buddy? What you got? 
What is that? Another tape. Straight away, watch that thing. Also, you smiling my crutch right, my dude. Come on, right now. Let's just watch the tape. You see I'm inside. It's Emmett. This is what they were doing. I don't know if we're seeing the real thing or. What is he looking at? Wait, what? What the heck? Why was Emmett strolling with that guy? Did he offer it as like a sacrifice? I'm not confused. Then? Damn, dude. So two different things to already inflict the wounds. Maybe if we rewind this to the point where the weapon is still lodged in the ground, we can look at that from there on. So go back a bit more. This will, I guess, give us a clue towards the murder weapon. So about here, let's go ahead and pause that before he takes it. What were you doing here, Sheriff? Yeah, my question's exactly. So this is no longer just a right missing there, person dude. case. It's <laughs> it's the shovel from the video. It is. I'll mm, get him for this, this lady. Dude, we should see the blood on that too. I swear. So there is a guy in the forest murdering people. Also, I really like how you can look on the camera and like see stuff. Uh, I think if you press like F, you go to night vision mode and you can hold it to your face. So that's definitely going to be a mechanic at some point. Now I still can't put Sheriff away this Emmett though. Lanning. Wow. The guy who cared about everything and everyone. He's me. Oh, really. Side eye, but never gave up. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, not whoa. even after let him down. Rest easy, Emin. For sure. That's I'll one find the man who did this. Another one. Another totem. So it might be the same guy Cavanese. Got a letter right here. So charge one constraining Article 52 of the NC General Statutes publicly disrespects and shows contempt for national symbols. Our military service and the pathetic soldiers he once had the honor of serving with. Um what the freak is that all about? What is this down here? Look at this. It's like a small crawl space. Maybe? It might not be. Okay, it's best to investigate that. Bullet barking like mad. Wait, where is he? He's over there somewhere. Look at this. Climb in the woods. What do you see, Bullet? What do you see? Hold up a second. Before we cross that, there was also this way here. We could... What is that? It's a shush, 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 shush. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Nice and quickly. That was optional as well. Okay, we get Matthew's picture. Again, might be taking a leak. Might be dying. Who knows? Um... Now listen, this wasn't here last time. Wait, what? Did the water drain? Where did all the water go? Uh, where did all the trees Is go, rather the leaves? Really, the right way back? Uh, I don't think there's any right I'm way going back. Crazy, no. right? No, this forest is going crazy, as far as I'm concerned. Where is Bullet? Hold up, can I call him again? It still won't let me call or interact with. Oh, what? What the heck is that? Uh, what do we do? Run! Run. Let's get this knife on. What the freak, dude? Oh, keep it going, keep it going. We got a chopper overhead and stuff. Uh, I'm getting shots fired at my forehead too. Okay, dodge that, dodge that. Ooh, we're actually being tracked down though. Did I do that to Emmett? I have no idea what it's trying to signify. It's just falling down in front of us. It ain't blocking no path. Wait, where did Bullet go? You separate me from Bullet, dude. One out of ten game. I'm telling you. It's inside the end, maybe. He's leading us to this big old oak tree. Let's go, let's go. It's like a hideaway. Oh, man. Is this where the witch hides out? Could well be. Woo! Look at that. Bullet running straight in. We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. I shouldn't have done that. I'm messing with forces. I have no Shit, idea no, how to not now. Dude, night vision does nothing. Come on, work. What the freak? What is going on, dude? I can't see. Can I switch my stuff up? I can't switch my stuff up! It's got night vision, look. This is what I was thinking the game might end up making us do. See Bullet taking the lead. I really don't like this, man. I'm looking at the small camera. you know where you're going, boy. Dude, this is really jacked up how the game makes you look through this. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That can do that. Bullet's gone. Don't go too far ahead, Bullet, please. All right, the night vision is just gone. Come on, camera, come on. Wait, there's a totem right there. Like, literally right in front of us here, so we crush it, crush it, crush it. Is it a silent warship? Another one, Fabian. Or a warning. <sighs> Who knows? We've had no indication. Can this work, please? Come on, come on, come on. Dude, if this don't work, I can't see anything. The freak. Put it on. Come on, come on, come on. Dude, where am I going? It's pitch black in here. Okay, we're going this way here. I don't, I don't know where I'm going, guys. Okay, my camera started working again. Am I going back out of the cave? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh gosh! Oh my God. Dude, we're in like an underground cave right now. Nah, I couldn't do this. I could not. I got my flashlight out. Bullet, where the heck are you? No! The game went ahead and separated me from Bullet. Listen, I'm just gonna go with the 
you know, idea that he found a safe way out, and I'm, I'm the one suffering right now, not the other way around. Picture right here again. Who is it this time? Is it the same person? Wait. Lucas, that one says. I don't even see anything. I don't know what to even make of this scenario. Who is that? No idea. This cave is literally collapsing under us. And you can see, like, all of the roots from the tree, they really dug deep in the ground down here. This is a monster. I'm stuck. It's gotta be a lot of tools. Come on, come on, come on, Alice. Squeeze through, squeeze through. No button prompts. There's nothing I can do. Okay, come on, my dude. Get on through. Okay, like that. Look at the ground. Ooh, okay. We got through. Don't jump me. Don't do it. I can deal with a little bit of fallen rubble and just some mist in front of my eyes. That's about all I need. Listen, the environment does enough to freak me out right now. Don't go ahead and add to it. When you hear a voice whispering about here for perspective, don't turn around. Just do not turn around. Keep looking ahead. Be positive. We are obviously getting out. Tunnels lead somewhere, right? Uh, hopefully not deeper. My phone going off. I still can't check it. The game will not allow me to actually bring up my phone. So, to your senses. Is that Lily? It might be Lily. I don't really know who else it could be. Okay, it's starting to expand out a little bit, so we could probably stand up about now. Okay, still want to let it stand up, so we've got to keep on going through by knee. It is leading some... Bruh. Okay, listen. Better them than me. Forever mine. Forever. What the heck are we seeing or hearing? That's got to be Lucy speaking, though. She's not talking about us. Yeah. I'm sure the voice is offering encouraging and stuff. It's hard to tell. It's completely blacked out. What was that sequence? Where Off the record, Alice. Okay, and my game crashed. Great. Okay, now the game lets me actually check oh, my know where you're going, boy. No idea what the freak that was like. So it must have locked me out. In that case, let me check the texts I got because I didn't get a chance to see those. They're all from Jess. Start with this one here. Hey, I keep getting bumped to your voicemail. Next one. Anyway, I was just calling to... I don't know why, really. Been thinking a lot about us lately. Next one. You're avoiding me or still running around the woods? Call me when you can. Bye. Dude, Jess is trying to get in contact with this. She seems nice. She does. Okay, we've got another text come through, guys. Let's actually check this one out then. So this is a voice message. You have one new voice message? Can we play it? Let's go back, actually, to our voice messages. We can call Jess. Hold up. Will it work? Let me see. Line busy. Jess, who the freak are you talking to? Off the record, Alice. What the it hell looks like happened? It's what... You responded to a robbery call. When you got there, you saw them leaving the store. You took out your gun. You told them to stop. Uh -huh. The kid reached for something. Was it a weapon? No. And then what happened? Oh, you know what happened. This is on me. What does that even mean? Adam Shin, Peter's brother. Dead? I don't know what I was thinking. I was the last person he'd want to see. For all I knew, I, I could have crippled him for life. Dang, dude. What the freak that man doing, huh? Why are people sleeping on sentient yeah. objects? You know? I thought there was something I had to do. Had to. I couldn't. A cool cutscene. Whoa! Okay. My guy's jumping out of a chopper right now. What is happening? So this is like maybe a flashback to our military days, right? So we needed to pull the trigger or we maybe didn't need to? Not sure. Again, that flashback with Lily's eyes right now. It's like her waking up, but why? Right? Why? Oh, dude, we're getting back up. Bullet. Oh, he's all good, man. That's what matters. Like, if I got a broken leg, it doesn't matter. I got yeah, bullet. How did we end up back here? Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Bullet, where the freak you at? What up? You stay nice and still. Play it's pet time, my dude. What's on the agenda today, then, good huh? Boy. Sits nice and politely. Look at that. He waits for the ear scratches. Good dog. All right, then, Bullet. Let's get back to work, shall we? Let's go ahead and see what else we're doing. So, we're back. Ooh, this was kind of close to the beginning of the game, actually. This is where we saw the campsite. Fear of Forgetting Critters by Todd McKinnon. Theodore McKitton. My father was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill and the Blackwoods Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. I returned to that place after almost 40 years. It looked exactly how I remembered, except for its haunting emptiness. No one was telling the stories of fearsome critters anymore. There was not a single soul to pass the legends on. The logging company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. But I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before it revealed its secrets to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. Peculiar. So that's why he went back to check things out, right? Is that another totem on the I floor? Know. I know. So I'm going to take that. All right, where do we see this? We get rid of this right now. Listen, shut your freaking demon hover now. Creeping me out. Uh, we're, we're, 
religious in some way. It does seem like everything is kind of leading up. Nothing more over here. Or oh, maybe we can check this out. the same, but uh -huh. older. How long have we been here for, huh? A lot older. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't make any sense. Who knows, man? All right, let's try and play this tape, shall we? Did I just miss something? Hold up. What the freak? What's that sound? Hold up, was it this? It's the totem Which again. one is more twisted than the last? Right. But what that means, I don't know. Yeah, let me check in my backpack a second. Um, well, we picked up anyone called the burial, I think it was? Yeah, let's watch this one. We mustn't have seen this yet then, so... Let's see. It's oh. him. Oh, thorn bush something head. nearby. Let's find it, buddy. Let's find the clue for this one, though. What is it? Because there's a cut right... What is he doing? So he sealed it. And obviously, we already know that. We've got to go ahead and rewind time. That thing ain't sealed no more. Was it right there? Search. Get him searching. That's it. Straight back into action. I got a feeling it's probably... Okay, hold up. Is it that way there? Oh, it might be. Yeah, let me ask him one more time. Okay, seek. Nothing, eh? Hmm. It's hard to know then which way to go. I guess we got to literally find this manually on foot. Right, this is leading up some kind of trail. Okay, this might be something here. Oh, the rocky formations. Maybe we'll have to look for like a landmark or something in due time. The flashlight out. It is kind of dark still. Bless you. Bullet, seek. Right, let's see where he does when he seeks. Hmm. He's not seeking this, so I guess we literally have to find this. We have nothing for him to seek nothing after there, all. Huh? It's a torch. What is this? Dogs of war. A dog tag? Where did... I have no idea. No, no, that's impossible. Hmm, you would think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. Higher we climb. This is it! Dude, was that our first attempt right there? Hold up, let's go. So, this is what he sealed. This looks like bullets. a place. Yeah, this. What'd you find? He's digging this up. Keep going, bud. What is that? A CD? Hold up. Is, how is this important? The Tappy East Creek Timber Company. About the sawmill. You see blood right there? Is that how the father passed away? I've seen this logo before. That's where landing was going. Okay. That's worth a shot. Maybe we'll finally get some answers. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, is this going to be the new clue? You show bullet Heal. this. Got this smart dog finding this, man. Crazy how dogs can do this, though, right? Good long whiff bullet. It's important. It's really weird to experience having the ability to smell something and then find the object relating to it. That's crazy. Like, I never really thought about that. Listen, I knew dogs were absolutely amazing before, but dogs, they're just amazing in every single regard, aren't they? Okay, wait, 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 hold up. He's barking. Okay, so where he goes. Okay. Uh, looks like he's trying to go this way here, maybe. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is leading us a new way. Little bits of ember falling. And that from a fire. And that just the forest being tainted, huh? Where are we going? Okay, radio, radio, radio. Swap out. Uh, go for this guy here. Channel two or three, what is this? Hello? Maybe try channel one. Anybody there? Okay, channel three again. This was the new what? one we got. Who is this? Let's see. Uh, what, wait, what? <sighs> We're getting nothing now. This is another flashback, right? That does not look like... Yeah, that ain't English lettering, my dude. Then that might be Arabic lettering? Elisha 5, do you copy? What? We can hear this. Do we actually want to... Elisha 5, this is Monarch. You... This is... Um, this is bizarre. No, you're not real. Guys, right, look at the layer of, like, leaves all in this forest, though, right? It is so dense. What is it, boy? Going to? Something wrong? There's always something wrong, my dude. Hold up, hold up. Any enemies? Another totem. Pushed up. Over, gone. I guess? I don't know if that was wise. Whoa! Oh, whoa, okay. Um, yo. What the What is going on? Um... I don't get what's happening, right? Oh, it's gonna move here. Keep running, keep running, keep running. We are literally being killed by tumbleweed right now, so they can't get us from up here. Right, where's Bullet? Where's Bullet? Let me call him. Right, Bullet's okay, so they're not targeting him, thank goodness. So we wait for these things to move. It's like a monster underneath this. What the heck is that? It's right there. I can't outrun those things though, right? Let's go for it, let's go. Bullet calling us saying, it's good to go, my dude. Trust your instinct. All right, we made it. Let's keep running. It's like a car on fire there or something. Might be some kind of story hint. Not sure. It's right there. Listen, go for it, go for it. Just commit. Yeah. Those tumbleweeds are not catching up. Are we even going the right way by now? Like, I don't even know, dude. Oh. I get it, I get it. But I know where to go. But you don't know when I can actually go. No, let's go now, let's go. Ooh. Dude, gunfire. Um, no idea if we're actually being shot at. Give me that good stuff. But, yeah, creepy indeed. Are you not saying, like, you know, the little tumbleweed monsters are creepy? Keep going, keep going. Don't know if things can actually kill us. 
We're basically through the section here, it feels like. There we go. Don't even go ahead and look back. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I'm seeing, like, the veins in my eyes literally pulsating through. This really isn't good. Wait, what? Did I just die or was that meant to happen? Oh, as we go through the forest, there's something here with us. Find it, find it, find it. Get rid of them, get rid of them. Oh, look at that. Get out of here. Okay. Holy crap, flash with the flashlight. What did I just say? Bunkers here, bunkers here. Check around. Monster's still so confused. Oh, no, I got it. Do we still have to get rid of the monster? Oh, I don't see it, I don't see it. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's go, let's go. We're being shot at. I'm seeing all this bull crap. It's like the forest is making us relive some kind of traumatic, tragic past that we don't want to. Maybe that's what our experience with the forest so far is. It's more about our past and experiencing the bad side of everything. That's what it seems to be. Whoa. Roaming through the streets, maybe when we're on service or something? Yeah, bullet. You near me? No! Crap, dude. What the freak? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something to do with our past, right? Gotta fall back. Follow this guy here. Just calm down. It's very bizarre. No! You're not. No! Yeah, recognize it! That hit way too close. So, wait, will we hit him, Bow? I'm not really sure what's happening. That was help. Can I help him? I don't think I can do to help him. Do I. What is going on, dude? I really don't understand. I do that. He has gone too. I don't really know where we gotta go. Oh, wow. Maybe he's just coming out here to re experience this. We're gonna black out again. Like, we're gonna un black out, I guess. Maybe that's for the best. I, I, I can't. I don't know what's going on. I really don't understand. Like, the shock of the event or something messing with our brain? I can't even move, man. Bullet in the back. We're straight back out again in the forest, and it's now night time. Ah, oh. sweet dog. Look at that. So close. Oh, I love dogs so much. Things would have been different if you. All this would never. I would never. Just hold seat and let go of Bullet. Just let go of him, I guess. Okay. That's really sweet. Little secrets, actually hugging the dog and him letting us. He gets a treat for that one. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. One of these. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Very good boy. He definitely deserves a treat snapping us out of that you one. Want some boy? We were very stressed. There you go, bud. You deserve that one. Crunching it down. One left. Sorry to break that to you, but still, happy as can be. Come here, boy. Let's call him on. Let's get the flashlight back out, too. Forest is dark. In the stack, we already know we got enemies nearby. Was some of this real? We just experienced that? You see, we've got like a maybe a telephone wire at some point. I don't know. That's abandoned. So we must be going to the old sawmill, right? That's what one can assume. It was real? We need to find another way. We really do. So how are we about to do that? Who knows? Maybe this way here. This tree. Go underneath it, go underneath it. This way looks a lot better. So I wonder what those monsters actually are. Can't fight off against them. So that's very interesting. Sawmill Camp 8. Where do we check out first? Let me see. Yeah, we are not gonna get through there, man. That would take us straight out. His bullet got something? Hold up. What's he got? He's got a photo. Thanks for the uh, image. P I Z M Y S A W. Prismized Slaw. Don't know if that's some kind of different language. Wait. I think. Is that a railroad track? That took a while for that to click in your head, my dude. Yeah, I think we should because that way. Those little tumbleweed things. No, thank you. We've got some signal, is that saying, right now? So, let me actually pull the phone out. Can we maybe call Ellis? Let's see. Or Jess, even. See what happens. It's ringing. Hey, Jess. She answered. Hey, you feeling better? Nah, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, I, I think so. It's just, um... That's some bullcrap right there, dude. What? What is it? <sighs> Jess, I, I... There's something really messed up going on in these woods. Mm -hmm. I'm scaring myself more than I'm you sorry. just believe. I, I can't explain it now. I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Mm -hmm. Just okay, listen. If anything happens, I want you to know. Signal broke. Hey, stop it, Ellis. You don't get to do this. Well, how are you so Run happy though? Woods, you, know? you ignore my calls, and now you give me this end of the world speech. It's not fair. If only you knew, I, huh? 
kind of traumatic. Look at this dude, Our like entertainment right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch just him. Come home. Leave it all behind. Aww. Wouldn't be the first time, right? That's exactly why I can't. Sorry, Jess, I gotta go. Can I call you later? See the response. You can always try. Okay. Sorry, Jess. Now, uh, listen, more importantly, I want this. Wait, it's another dog tag. Look at another this. one? What does that one say? Hey, what I think? I'm sure. Something like that. Let's keep following the tracks then. Let's see where this leads. It did say camp A. Let's see a lion. We also got another. Jess, if this is serious to you, I swear to goodness. It's a voicemail. Hold up a second. So I've got two. How can I listen to these, right? Oh, we can call voicemail right now. Let's go ahead and do that. So we've got two outstanding. Let's go. You have one new message. I have two, you liar. What did you do to him? Well, like, keep it down. I'm listening. It's all because of you. I knew it. I always knew you. I don't know what that means. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like a Geiger counter going off. Hold up. What's this right here? Okay, okay it's just the bottom of a twig. You always gotta wanna check this stuff out, though, and know what you'll find. All right, bullet. Listen, I'm coming. Now, if a train comes down here, I've got two questions. Number one, where the freak you come from? And number two, where the freak you come from? I made over there. More lights. This is very, very bizarre. Is that like a train car or some kind of mine car? Rail card. Yeah. Should we hop in it? Yo, for, uh, you know, craps and giggles, my dude. Wait, it's operational. Would you look at that? So, ooh, we use this. We get across the area, right? We can get to the sawmill. Come on, bullet. Let's have a nice little ride, huh? Bullet. Yes. Oh. This is very, very strange. But listen, why not? Oh, wait, motor car. Okay, direct lever, power switch, uh, forward, backwards, and a brake lever. So we pretty much know how that works. That was a complete lie. I have no idea what the freak I'm doing. So this is the brake here. So I guess the brake's off. Power switch. Then this is forwards and backwards, right? Is that good? Let me see. Maybe there's something else we need to do. Look at this power. So I turned it off like a moron, dude. Okay, go forward, go forward, go forward. Forward, forward. All right. Ooh, this is kind of interesting, right? Bullet sitting tight as well. Dang. So we got to be ready, I guess, for... Monsters that may be stalking us during the sequence here. This is exciting. This is the sort of gameplay stuff that I'm really starting to enjoy because it's a lot more than just like looking at things. You're actually like actively pursuing stuff pretty much all the time. Let's see if things change up then as we go back. Maybe more lights for sure. Campsite A, sawmill, campsite B. All right, we're going to camp B. Hold up. So we're going to stop this about here. I don't want to crash that. Uh, okay, crashed it. Let's turn it off for now. Just make sure Let's that go, thing is not moving. Got an arrow. So this is a generator. Uh, obviously generating, so it's doing what a generator should. I didn't know there was a logging hmm. operation out here. Same here, obviously. Stop giving up permits in the 60s. <laughs> this is ancient. So interesting. Another dog tag. How the hell did they get Boy, here? Sylvester. It's not real. That's how it got here, because it is not real. Another photo, obviously. This um, again. Yeah. To say Arcadius. These words are getting more and more like mystical, it seems, what? right? Okay, so is there a way in? Hold up. Well, what are you seeing? Another tape. There will be a point where this door will be open. The machine. Alright, here we go. Now, uh, it's pretty basic, actually. So it's gonna teach us how First, to use this. Uh, you need to ignite it, like, like this. Okay, I guess the power right, man. Now the donkey will begin to pull, okay? So pay attention Dump. to the pressure. Ah. You need to keep the needle in the green zone by turning this valve. Right, right underneath it, okay? If it gets any more, I think it's now, probably not good. Once you're done, put the fire out. So that cuts, obviously, the oxygen starves it. And then, is the door just going to open like so? Unless, maybe I just pause it when the door's open, right? That would be nice. Maybe so. I'll have you some notes here, in, uh, in case you run into any trouble. Behind okay? the locked door. Good job, man. Good job with that. So, what else is this? Like some extra at the end. What the freak? Hold on. Let me check that through again. Is there something here we should have maybe seen? This is interesting to be included in the tape, right? Not sure. I'm gonna pause it with the door open. I'm not really sure if that will actually do anything, so let's leave that there. Any more tools? Hey. Well, what the freak are you looking at? Look at that, the door's just open. Okay, well that was much more simpler. Gridry, we just got a new delivery. Come to the maintenance shed to pick up those parts you wanted. Robert. Steam donkey, uh, you are here. Maintenance shed can't be. So the steam the donkey's there. Shed is promising. Well, maybe there's some spare parts left. Mm-hmm. Perhaps so. Okay, what's oh, this? Steam's first escaping. One? Okay. Pressure's not gonna build up. So you need a valve for that. Yeah, so there's a lot of some help. So, Come on, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be doing this! Put up. Yo. Yeah, okay, what the freak was that? Put up. There's one more thing over here. What is this thing? Okay, steam powered donkey engine, Tappy East Creek Timber Co. So whistle safety valves pressure. So it's a lot of, I guess, things on the diagram that we can see 
giving us hints in terms of how we operate this. All right, then, guys, I'm going to leave this part here anyway because this is kind of interesting and it feels like a good spot to leave off at. So we made it to a sawmill within the forest, one of which apparently shouldn't exist and probably went out of operation a very, very long time ago. This, though, all has something to do and it's clearly going to relate to the story down the line. So we'll get to this and listen, those whoosh sounds, I go back in here. I guess when the next part comes, will all depend on how much you guys are still enjoying this thing, but I'm having a lot of fun. It's doing the investigative process in a different way and it's different than layers of fear, which I'm very, very thankful for. It feels good. Anyway, though, guys, this is going to be it for this video and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like crane and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy and I will, of course, see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.